Okay, here's the deal. I've been in a sort of style slump lately, but there has been a new aesthetic floating around TikTok and Pinterest, and it's perfect to try out for the fall. It's called the Downtown Girl Aesthetic, and today I'm gonna be trying it out. say I like a lot of different types of styles but this one has stuck out to me in particular because it really goes along with the autumn and it's super cozy so it would be perfect for this upcoming fall. I also really like how this aesthetic has a lot of basics in it. It's a lot more convenient for everyday life. So what exactly is the downtown girl aesthetic? Don't worry, I have an answer for you. I found a little definition online that says, The downtown girl is an aesthetic that revolves around the romanticization of living in downtown New York, especially in autumn. It often groups coquette due to the common features such as Lana Del Rey music and brandy male clothing. It also sort of has that Rory Gilmore and Bella Swan style to it, but it's a little less 2010s and fits more into today's style and trends. Now that we got that covered, let's get into trying out this aesthetic. Step one, go through Pinterest. I always go to Pinterest when I need inspiration. It just has the best outfits and the best pictures and ideas for different types of style. In this case, it's very handy for figuring out exactly what essentials we need to try out this new aesthetic. For example, lots of low-rise jeans, cute basic tops, leather jackets, docks and converse, mini preppy skirts, etc, etc. There's also a certain vibe to this aesthetic, as you can see with these different types of pictures. Like I said, it feels very autumn-y, cozy, Gilmore Girls, but also kind of like Rockstar Girlfriend-esque. You get the picture. The color scheme also kind of varies in my opinion. It's not very distinct, but the color scheme I specifically kind of liked was a lot of neutral tones, black, white, brown, tan, mixed with some pops of color like red or green perhaps. This has helped me go into step two, which is to create a list of clothes needed for the style. An essentials list, if you will. In my list, I had graphic tees. Graphic tees were everywhere, especially on Pinterest and in TikToks when I was really researching the style, especially ones from Brandy Melville, but you can definitely thrift some since Brandy Melville isn't the most inclusive. Another thing I noticed were sweaters were everywhere, chunky knit sweaters, striped sweaters, grandpa sweaters. Again, there was a Brandy Melville sweater that was popping up a lot. I know that one's really popular right now, but I do think you can find one very similar from another place or thrift it as well. There were also a ton of tanks and crop tops, especially just basic ones that could be layered or styled with a lot of different pieces. There were some baby doll tops, especially, and that kind of reminds me of the 2010s Rory Gilmore Bella Swan a little bit. There were a lot of vintage type looking jeans or low rise jeans, which is so easy to thrift. So I feel like that one will be very easy to find. I noticed a lot of preppy skirts or little mini skirts and that would also be styled with a ton of different items of clothing. Also a lot of boxers and casual dresses. Leather jacket was one that I saw all over and definitely have on my list for that reason specifically. And overalls. Overalls was another one that fit right in this style. So now that I have my list, uh, that leads me to step number three, which is to look into your own wardrobe. When I was thinking of this video idea, I realized I did not want to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe just to try and embody this aesthetic especially because I have some pieces that already would work really well into it. So I decided to make a little section of the video where I just looked at my own wardrobe and figured out which clothing pieces I already had and which clothing pieces I would need to get. I actually found out that I already had a lot of the pieces I needed in my wardrobe. In fact, I actually checked most of my boxes off my list just from looking through the clothes I already had. I'm really glad I did this before going out and shopping because I realized I could style all these old pieces of clothing in a totally new way, which meant I didn't have to spend as much money as I thought I was going to have to. Which leads us to step four. Walmart, and I'm just 
got back from Walmart and I did get one thing. I got a skirt. There was a ton that tempted me, but the skirt was really cute and I thought it kind of fit into the aesthetic. Plus, I think I'll wear it again outside of this video anyways, too. Don't know if I'm gonna go thrifting like I originally wanted to for this video, but that leads us to the best part of this video, I think, um, the lookbook. So, see you guys there. Um, I hope I did this aesthetic justice. I don't know if I quite nailed it, but this video was fun to do anyways. I have a lot of more ideas and content coming your way, so please stick around and subscribe if you want to. See you guys next week. Love you guys. Mwah.